guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another kind of makeup, smackdown, testy kind of video for you guys because one thing that I really need to find um, besides my obsession with foundation is a really good under eye setting powder. So I've never really spent a lot of money on a powder before because why the hell would you spend like $40 on something that's translucent? Like just the idea of that sounds stupid. So I've used this airspun powder for a really long time and I like using it all over my face but under my eyes it used to kind of like give me weird um, creasing, like it would just crease under my eyes. And I used this CoverGirl Advanced Radiance for a while, it was a recommendation by Tati. But I also noticed that this crease under, under my eyes throughout the day and I don't know why but at least like some kind of weird like black marks. Like, it kind of looks like my mascara clung onto it, and I've tried like different mascaras. But for some reason, when I use this powder, that happens. I don't know what's good with it, but I used to really like it, but not anymore. So, while I was in London, I was kind of feeling a little bougie and I wanted to spend some of my pounds. So, I actually went out and bought expensive powders. You can see this is from Chanel, and it's called Poudre Universelle Libre d'Or. And, um, yeah, I used it all over my face, and I really like the results of this. Uh, it doesn't crease on my, it, I mean my smile is still crease, but when I use this it's not as bad. So I figured I guess it is kind of worth it, you know, to spend a little money on translucent powder. Now the reason why I don't use that under my eye is because it's more of like a golden color to match, you know, my face. While under my eyes, and I would really like a nice, um, brightening effect, you know, like a little bit of highlight under there. So I decided that I would compare two YouTube famous powders for you guys. So first I have the RCMA no color powder now I've actually had this for a really long time like over a year or almost a year or some shit like that but the minute I bought it my sister just took ownership of it I think I've only used this once and I don't remember like how it looked or anything because you know I only got to use it once before my sister robbed me of it and she really liked it for a while but she said that it made her face look white like it left a cast but the main reason why I bought this is because Jaclyn Hill recommended it and I think she's really good at makeup obviously and she said it was good for people with dry under eyes and over here I have the Derma Blend see that Derma Blend loose setting powder professional the reason why I got this is because it was highly recommended by I think Patrick Star I think he uses this it has a bunch of good reviews and you know it's a little high-end I think it's like $26 so yeah just a quick comparison these are both translucent powders and like I said this one is $26 and I've seen this one floating around and I've heard people say they bought this for $12 but Amazon loves to rob people once things become really popular so when I bought this it was $19 so I'm not calling this like a cheap powder because it's clearly not $19 really now for $26 this will get you one ounce of powder and for $19 this will give you three ounces of powder even though you know some of it is missing because my sister liked it but um yeah clearly you're getting more for your money with this guy right here but obviously powder kind of lasts a long time anyway like I've had this this is like one of the first makeup things I bought like over a year ago and I still have a lot left it's never gonna fucking run out I swear all right now I think it's time to stop talking and start applying this makeup so we could see it in action so I've already primed my face I have this little Smashbox photo finish primer that I'm actually really liking it's a little sample and once I run out of this you know I'm gonna get that vagina shaping cream and for foundation concealer I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty faux filter and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now these are really good if you want to have blurred looking perfect skin, especially this concealer. Come on, I, you know what this concealer does. You've seen about fucking 300 YouTube gurus fucking cream themselves over it. And by the way, hopefully you guys can't notice, I pray to God, but yes, I know my earlobes look weird with these hoop earrings on, it's because I used to, you know, put tunnels in them. If you wanna see a video of me attempting to stretch my ears and getting roasted, with third degree burns in the comment section I'll put a little card up so you could see oh my god that is my most popular video so if you watched that video and you hated on me in that video I just want to say thank you because goddamn all that hate really blew that video up and I, I, I would have never thought that video would have got 150,000 views that's just crazy
Alright guys, I just zoomed you into my face. I just finished applying my concealer. So now I'm going to set my under eye. First I'm going to start off with the Derma Blend. Um, it comes with a little powder puff, which is nice, like a little cotton thingy. Probably not going to use that ever, but it's nice, feels nice and soft. Alright, now I'm just going to peel it up. Alright, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got the little holes, you know, so the powder can be released. So I guess I'm just going to pour it in here. Like that. And I got a decent amount of powder. Just kidding. I'm so fucking lame. Quickly just smoothing on my under eye, just in case, you know. Because I don't want, you know, it to set on creases and then blame the powder. You dig? So I'm gonna put the Derma Blend on this side of my face, my right side. Am I right? Yeah, okay. Alright, I think I kinda went overboard applying it, but you know, you guys get the idea. So, so far, I really like the packaging. It's really easy to pour out, it doesn't get all over the place, it's not messy, and it doesn't smell, it doesn't have any scent, it doesn't smell like the Aerospun, which is the scent of 300 grandmothers combined. Now we're gonna move on to the RMCA No Color Powder. Just so you guys know, I absolutely hate this packaging. It's so confusing to me, it's like a pepper shaker. And I like I just don't know where to put it, so I'm actually just gonna use this lid, clean it off a bit, and just pour it in there. Cause it's just a stupid concept, honestly. Now I'm just gonna apply the RMCA on this side of my eye. Alright, now I'm gonna bake, and I haven't baked in a really long time actually, even though I do like the results of it, it just takes, you know, it's just like, kinda takes a little too much time, it's a little extra, but obviously for the sake of the video I'm going to do it, um, so I'm just gonna try to do as much as my face before I sweep this off. 20 minutes later. Alright, now it's time to sweep off the bake because I have to do my under eye makeup now and it's kind of in the way, so let's see how it looks. Alright guys, first impressions now that I've swept it off my face. I feel like the Derma Blend side is slightly a little more highlighted than my RCMA side. I feel like this one just looks very natural. I don't even feel, see like a noticeable highlight. But this one I could definitely see it. And I think this one looks a little bit more dry. The Derma Blend side just looks a tiny bit more dry. Whereas the RCMA side looks a little smoother. I don't know, what do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously they look very similar. I think they both look really good. Alright guys, now that my face is complete, I'm going to give you guys some of my thoughts so far. So I really do like how the Derma Blend gave me a nice little highlight right there. I mean, that's the main reason why I bought these powders because I do want a really nice highlight. But I just feel like my RCMA side looks a lot smoother and just overall better. Uh, maybe I'll zoom you in one more time because I want you to get the details. Do you see what I mean? I feel like the RCMA side just looks overall smoother and has really like melted into my skin. Whereas the RCMA side, I feel like it's left me just a tiny bit of texture. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm not sure how I feel. I'm also going to insert a picture I took with the flash on so you could see if the powders maybe look like a white woman because you know of the flashback. Alright, without further ado, I'm going to go on and live my life. It is currently 3.27 p.m. in New Jersey. And yeah, I'll probably check in with you guys in like six or seven hours. I'm really hungry, I need to go eat some Mexican food. So we're gonna see if it creased under my eye and if you know, if it held well, if it made my makeup there last longer. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Or not by it's gonna flash flash all right 10 hours have passed it is currently a new day it is sunday november 5th at 12 58 a.m so close to one i know you think you're like girl shouldn't you be sleeping i'm basically like tommy was oh i'm a vampire i stay up all night and sleep during the day <laughs> now let's talk about the makeup stuff i think my makeup has held up pretty well throughout the day. I will say 
Both my under eyes feel dry as hell. I think it's because I baked for 20 minutes. The side that feels drier is definitely the RCMA side. Like I could just feel it clinging on to my eye and it's really bothering me. Like I'm actually excited to take my makeup off because I naturally have normal to dry skin. So I really shouldn't have baked for that long, but I just wanted to see the maximum effects of it. But damn. Ooh, I need like water as for how it's worn throughout the day as you can see it definitely stayed intact and they look pretty much identical like both sides they did crease just a little bit like in my eye bag area I think the side that actually looks smoother would be the dermal blend side but honestly it's not really a huge difference especially since this one is seven dollars more and this one comes with more product and you know they look pretty much identical on my face right now what do you think? Let me know. So for my final thoughts, I'm actually on the fence with both of these powders. Like, I think they both look really good and I like how my makeup still looks nice. I'll put a little picture of myself with flash as you can see. It's not a huge difference from earlier except for the minor creasing. Honestly though, the Derma Blend didn't really wow me enough to justify the $26. So I would choose the RCMA over just for the fact that it's cheaper, it gave me the same results. Although it definitely felt drier on my skin and therefore more uncomfortable throughout the day, but I'm gonna blame that on myself for letting it bake for too long. However, I don't hate the Derma Blend because like I said earlier, the packaging is nicer and more convenient. It gave me more of a highlighted effect, I would say, and it doesn't feel as dry as the RCMA does right now. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on these powders. Let me know what you think. Have you tried either one of them? And do you have any you want to recommend to me? Because I've heard that Estee Lauder powder was really good, but I bought the small one, which is like supposed to be the brightening one. I thought it was a trial size version of the translucent one, but it wasn't, and it honestly is the worst powder ever here it is the secret brightening powder I think I know why it's a secret because it's horrible like I don't know who this would work for like it just creases so bad I've never been able to apply this and have it look nice however maybe the translucent one is good because everyone raves about it I'll let you guys know if I try it anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it look at me I'm like a underage Justin Bieber. I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.